Hey there everybody, guess what? We are going on the tour of Alcatraz Island. We got on the boat here. It cost, I think it was 47 bucks, I don't remember, but something like that. That's gonna take us over to the island. So come along with us on this tour of Alcatraz. Can you believe we gotta wear a muzzle? So I guess we're still prisoners. Check it out. This is it guys, this is Alcatraz Island. Uh, we are approaching it here in our tour boat. It takes us over. A lot of people on the boat. Golden Gate Bridge is back there. And that's San Francisco. So let's go to Alcatraz guys. Check it out guys. Alcatraz Island. The famous prison. Been in so many movies, so much history. This is the place. Uh, we're here bringing you this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Awesome, awesome coming here. Never thought I would make it to this place. I've always dreamt about it. But here it is. We're gonna dock now. Look at that, guys. Look at that. How many people suffered in this place? And very few have escaped. I think only a few of them. There's a movie about it. Wow, this is it, guys. Alcatraz. I can't believe it. I'm here. I'm actually here. I'm like. I lost words. I wish I wouldn't have to use this mask, but it's the law here. We are here. We're in Alcatraz. <laughs> we made it. Woohoo! Guys, this is so great. I've seen the movie and I recognize, you know. The, 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 the areas, yeah, yeah. it's really good. I have to watch the movie again. I definitely gotta watch the movie yeah. again. Look at that. So we're gonna this board, get off, get off the boat. What's it called, this board? I don't even know, I own the boat, I don't know none of the- In my phone. <laughs> I own the boat, I don't know any of the terms. Anyway, we're gonna disembark. That's the word, disembark. Let's go tour the island. This was going to be sold, uh, or it was proposed to be sold um, as uh, private property for about $2.5 million and developed. Well, after the Indian takeover, um, and a, a settlement was, was reached with the native people, and it turned out that this became part of the National Park. And in fact, you notice that it looks kind of fresh up there. That doesn't look like it's 50 years old. That's because in 2019, uh, some Native Americans who were here 50 years ago. This here was electric shop. Check it out, old building. Here on Alcatraz. Look at this, some old abandoned building here on Alcatraz. I don't know what it was. Oh, here it says, this is one time the officers club. It's old, falling apart now. They told us we gotta wear masks coming here, but um, on the boat we had to wear masks. But everybody, I noticed when they got on land, the mask came off. So, we did the same thing, the masks. Are out of style, man. Check out these buildings. Wow, it's a lot of hiking uphill here. This building was the quartermaster's warehouse and the power plant. Back in his day, until 1963. Here's a 
fire area and the fire truck, the Alcatraz. Look at that old thing. It says that even though Alcatraz was surrounded by water, they said there were a lot of fires here caused by the inmates. Bring out a way to make things complicated, possibly escape. I've got a little like an angry seagull. I've got a tip for you guys. When you come in here, I had booked online. Yeah, we got an Uber, we had to park farther away, got an Uber. Parked on Meadow Greens, a lot of parking space there. And we took an Uber to Pier 33, where you catch the boats to Alcatraz. I booked the tour online and getting to Pier 33. It says, sorry, but all the tickets are sold out. So you'd be refunded your money. And then, so I thought, now we're not gonna be able to go. But you can buy a ticket right there on Pier 33 for a few bucks less than if you book one online. So there's a good tip for you. When you come in here, just take an Uber or Lyft or taxi to Pier 33 and buy your ticket right on the spot. That way you know either you're gonna get in or not. Look at the rocks. This island is made out of, it's like a big chunk of solid rock. And there's a lot of birds living out here. Up there guys is the prison. We have a lighthouse even. So we're gonna be heading up there right now to show you what it looks like. Climbing all these hills, pretty tiring. But this is history. Here you can see the cell house from a little closer. It's way up high. I wonder if they could look out of those windows because if they did, they had one hell of a view. Came from that hill down there. And I'm puffing, man. I'm tired. This is the view from up here. It's quite amazing. This here is the morgue. It's an operation, 1910 to 1963. Nothing fancy. This is slab, a cold slab to lay on. Heading up now towards the cell block where all the jail cells were. It's a long ways up. Look at that view from up here. And look at the seagull. <laughs> look at that. Here we are guys at Alcatraz cell house. So all the prisoners were housed in these cells. We're gonna go and see what it looks like inside. Let's go. Look at this, these were the showers. Big long line. Everybody stood, had a shower, all in one big place. No privacy, no nothing. Look at the stairs going up to the cells. Solid steel. Hello. Hi. So these were the cells, said Alcatraz. Not much, not much luxury. I don't see no beds in them. See table. 
Where did they sleep? I don't really know. See the narrators? Our former inmates. Here now, Kadras. Here you can see how they lived. A little sink, toilet, a cot, tiny little table, little shelf on the back. Wow. Definitely not luxury, but you know what? At least it was one person per jail cell, so. That wasn't too bad. Didn't have to share a cell with anybody. I don't know, is that good? Or is that bad? This is how they lived. This is the D block. Wow. Far end of Broadway. Three stories. Three stories of cells. Look at the. It's actually a little bit bigger, these cells. Here you can see some of the famous prisoners. Al Capone, Machine Gun Kelly, Doc Barker, the Birdman. I met, I know a guy who knows him personally. Check out my video. Bumpy Johnson and Mickey Cohen. These cells here, guys. These here, the door is closed and they lock you into the solitary confinement. No light, restricted diet. Looks like they had a toilet on the floor. This was where they put you in when you're really, really bad. So it says nine. 14 that was solitary confinement that's where you go and you'd suffer when you go in there this here this here was the Alcatraz library they said a lot of prisoners liked it because it actually got a lot of sunlight and they liked being in the cells on this side 
Because if you were locked up in the cells on this side, the sun would actually shine in on your cells and would make them a little bit happier. They'd be a little happier because they actually have sun shining on them. It would make life so much better. Cool. Sun would shine through those big windows there. And get into the block here, into the cell. Where they lived. This is their home. Sounds that come to these rooms, to these cells here. Continue to the end of CD Street. When you get there, turn left. Look for four. This is the cell here of George Heck, who is in for 18 years of kidnapping. Back in the 40s, and he was really into painting and drawings. So they keep some of his stuff in here on display. This here was the visitation area. When they come to visit you, your relatives, they sit here. You sit in there. And you talk to each other. Pretty rough. So you'd have light so you could see your family member sitting on the inside here. And I think the voice probably went through here. It's probably how it was done. Here's the utility corridor. Got a lot of the equipment. Here's the inside of the visitation room where the prisoners would sit. Here the control center where everything is monitored. The PA systems, everything here. Down there with the date. Bottle of Pepsi. This is really something, can you imagine? Spending your life locked up in this place would not be fun let me go into jail cell so you can see what it looked like this is one of the cells inside. Yeah, a little metal table, little metal chair, little metal sink, and a toilet. Nothing fancy. Well, they cover this one up. A shelf for your belongings. And bed went here. It's not a fun place to be. Definitely not a fun place to be. 
to be spending years and years sitting on this chair here reading a book there's no TVs no cell phones not much pretty much you can read a book or play a game with yourself or like some of them did painting toilet there all your worldly possessions right there Wow. And you sit here every day and look out at people over there. Hopefully you got along with the guys over there. I guess, I guess they could talk to each other. I'm not really sure. But that was life in Alcatraz. Very bleak. Very bleak. Some people did a lot of years in here. This here is two of the escape cells from guys who actually escaped Alcatraz, as you can see in the movie. And they used the spoon to dig a hole in. And I got to the utility area where they climbed up the pipes. Utility area is this area here, let me show you. So this is the utility area in here. And they broke into this area from the cell and then went up the pipes or down, I don't remember, to get away. So they had a whole hallway here to escape. And what they did, they put a, a fake, like somebody sleeping in the bed. And they went through that hole right there. Left the possessions laying there. And they are still considered fugitives and they're still considered fugitives up to today because they have never been caught. You can see here the cells had a little ventilation area there and that's what they used to break out. They carved the hole big enough using spoons, crawled through, gone to utility area and escaped. Here's another cell where they escaped. There you can see the hole. Still in the wall, right there. On the bottom you can see the spoons that they used to dig that hole big enough so that they could fit through. And then they propped it, made a dummy in the bed. So when guards check on them, looks like they're there. Left all the possessions here. And out they went through that hole, never to be seen again. Escape from Alcatraz. There's a movie about it, check it out. What I find interesting at, is these guys weren't next to each other, well a couple of them were, but the others were spaced apart, so they really, they really planned this escape properly. You know? I can stretch out my camera. Let's take a look at the upper level. See what it looks like. There you can see. The upper level, I think. There you go, there you can see the upper level. See what it looks like here in Alcatraz. That's a spoon they used to dig through. And these are the guys here who escaped, were never found again. It says here that they used the spoons to dig their way out and then they went through the vent into the utility corridor and then climbed up the roof and slid down a stovepipe. And that's how they did it. That's how these guys got away.
from Alcatraz, never to be seen again. Did they survive? Did they die? Nobody knows. They took that secret to the grave. Let's take a little walk outside uh, and see this beautiful city of San Francisco. Back there, look at that. Oh, this is beautiful here. Tugboat there, Golden Gate Bridge way back there. There's the lighthouse lighting up the bay. So these guys somehow got out. They went down there and they escaped to San Francisco over there. Nobody really knows. Did they survive? Did they die? Nobody knows. Wow, this must have been rough. Really rough to be living here. So it says that 1,500 prisoners were all together in this prison over the years. And it was just too expensive for the government to maintain. That's why they shut it down. And do you know that, I don't remember the year, but the, the ranger told us that one spell they almost sold this island for two point some million dollars. And that's when they had the Indian occupation. That's when the government had to take over and turn it into a national park. Here we are in the dining hall. This is where the prisoners we come to eat. I guess they had the tables lined up and everybody come in and have the meal. There you have it, you got the tables, the little bench. They probably enjoyed it because they get some sunlight in here. Not much, but a little bit. But wow. What a life. I was thinking for washing up. Oh, and they would get the food here. Look, there's the last meal, 21st of March, 1963. Cereals, gram, steamed wheat, scrambled eggs, fresh milk, stewed fruit, toast, bread, butter, coffee. We'd come out of here, do cooking. Serve them right here, or through the hole there. There they had the big pots, sinks are washing up. Here in the mess hall, the dining area of Alcatraz. There you can see a picture from back in the day. They said that this room was one of the most dangerous rooms because inmates had access to knives and forks and spoons, which could be fashioned into weapons. So the guards always had tear gas canisters ready for any action. That was a visit to the famous Alcatraz prison 
here on Alcatraz Island, just offshore of San Francisco, California. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was incredibly interesting. I'm glad I seen it. And until next video, hasta la vista. Thanks for watching. Heading down, I decided not to walk down the hill. I'm worn out, I did a lot of walking around here. So I'm taking the little train they got here. That'll take us down, back to where the boat is. And we take the boat back to San Francisco, take Uber to the pickup, and we keep on traveling. Really, really interesting trip here, visiting Alcatraz Island. Make sure you try it out. The views. <laughs> The views are just amazing. I take this little free tram down, save us a lot of work. So until next time. Bye bye.